what's up everybody welcome back to another video um if you watched my tie-dye video for the fourth of july then this is the video that i mentioned that i would be making of the story of why i didn't post for a while or whatever and this has i have no shade to throw on verizon or whatever they're a great company it's whatever so stop moving my camera stand <coughs> But, so here it is, so welcome back. I'm also getting my hair ready for a dyeing video, which will probably be up next Wednesday. So, let's get into this video. It all started because I dropped my phone and then the screen went completely black and I couldn't do anything. I couldn't touch or whatever. I can turn it on because my phone had like the fingerprint fingerprint unlocking thing or whatever, but I couldn't see that it was actually turned on and I could only use Siri to like call people or text somebody, which I didn't really text anybody because I couldn't see if a text came in or not or whatever. But so I called my grandpa up, told him that my phone, I needed a new phone because it was like dead like dead dead and it already had a problem where the screen was like popping off just a minute i'll just grab the phone excuse me okay see right there the screen is like actually popping off this is what i was talking about that's why there was a huge black half moon on one side on most of my videos before it's because this was popping off or whatever. So I already told my grandpa I needed a new phone because of this, but he was just like, yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> He actually tried to fix it by pushing it down, but it only made it worse. Anyways, though. So, he got called up Verizon, got this whole order or whatever. I'm on my grandparents' plan. They live in Montana. I am moving to Montana soon. But not quite yet. Anyways, though, so um, he had them. He was going to do a pickup in store business or whatever. But what we didn't realize is that you had to have the card that you paid with to pick up in store, and you have to be authorized on the account. Which I can't be authorized on the account because I'm not an adult yet. So we went to Verizon, <clears throat> not knowing all that information that I just said. Me and my mom and my sister, we all went to Verizon and tried to pick it up and then the guy told us that we had to be verified and you have to have the card that you paid with or whatever, which my grandpa's not gonna send his card down here. That'd be dumb. So he said that uh, my mom would have to be verified on the account to pick it up and that if we don't have the card or whatever, then we'd have to um, change the order to be like, add it to my bill or whatever instead of like paying up front and so then we told grandpa we told grandpa that and then uh so he called up and tried to change the order or whatever and got my mom verified on the account or whatever so then the next day we went back to verizon and the guy was like well now you're verified on the account and uh but you still have to have the card or whatever. But my grandpa thought that he changed it to be on the billing or whatever. So we walked over to Barnes & Noble, which was right across the street from Verizon, called up my grandpa and was all like, hey, we can't pick it up because apparently we still need the card or whatever. And then he said that he thought that he changed that to be the billing. So then he called Verizon back up again to see what was going on. And they apparently didn't change it to the billing and apparently they can't cancel it over the phone and we when we were at Verizon already tried to have them see if they could cancel it and then we just change it there and then he said they said that they can't cancel it in store and they can't cancel it over the phone the only way you can cancel I mean not cancel it but like change it 
in the store, they said that they cannot cancel any orders and they cannot change any orders. Over the phone, they said that they cannot change the order. It has to, like, you have to do that, like, online. So then Grandpa just canceled it and decided and then ordered it to be able to be sent to me so we didn't have to deal with the picking up business anymore. And so then it was, I was supposed, sorry, I'm messing, I'm, I'm fidgeting around. <clears throat> so then it was supposed to get to me by Saturday and then I was just waiting and waiting two days for it because I was like Tuesday and then I was waiting and waiting and then on Saturday I waited for the mail to get here and then when my the mail usually came I went to go check it and there was no phone and I was very disappointed I mean this is actually disappointing this doesn't even begin what I was I was like very frustrated I was like I missed my phone so much I needed it I needed it for work so I can know when I work I needed it to make videos I needed it for everything I needed a phone I miss my phone so much anyways though so then uh, my mom called up my grandparents and was all like hey the phone didn't arrive or whatever so then grandpa was like well if it doesn't arrive actually no Saturday wasn't when it was supposed to arrive on Friday Anyways, though, it was supposed to arrive on Friday. It didn't arrive on Friday, so my mom called my grandparents, and then Grandpa said, well, maybe it was late, and if it doesn't arrive by Saturday, then he'll call and ask what's up. And so then I went to work, because I work on Fridays, and uh, when I came home or whatever, just did my day, waiting forever, and then Saturday didn't arrive, so Grandpa called them back up and was like, hey, where's my order? And then they were all like, oh, we just canceled the whole thing. So then, Grandpa had to make a whole new order and have it sent to my house or whatever. And then Grandpa was told by the people at Verizon how to like change the SD card or whatever. So that I don't have to like reset up the whole phone or whatever. So it would just have everything that I already had on my phone. Like my pictures and my contacts and everything. And so then I waited and it was supposed to come on Tuesday. And then it did arrive on Tuesday right before I had to go to work. So I got the package, I opened it up, and I put it on the charger so that when I was at work, it would be charging. And then when I got home, then it would be already charged over. So uh, when I got home, it was charged or, and whatever. I called my grandpa on my sister's phone so that he can help me to do the SD card switching thing or whatever. And then I switched the SD card or whatever, and now I have my phone. And I will show you guys the beautiful case and pop socket that I got for it too because I, I'm very proud of it. And yeah, that's the story of my uh, phone and how very frustrating business and why I didn't post for a couple weeks. Excuse the mess in the background, but this is basically my pop socket and my phone case. Aren't they pretty? So for the pop socket, um, I thought it looked like a wolf or whatever, and then my dad was like, it was more like a husky, but whatever, it's just a dog. And then this is the only case that, they only have like two cases at Walmart for my, for an iPhone 7. And the other one was like this really ugly pink and purple one, so I got this one instead. Anyways though. That's the end of this video, I hope you guys enjoyed, and um... That was the end of the story time or whatever. Not as exciting as some story times are for other people, but like whatever. And um, the next video I'm going to be posting is a thank you video and then my hair dyeing video. So I hope I'll see you guys in my next videos. Bye!